Hi, I am Reverend Brenda Lambert from the Center for Spiritual Awareness in West Sacramento. Welcome to Did You Know American History? Black History Month was originally launched by Harvard graduate Dr. Carter G. Woodson as Negro History Week in 1926. The week was chosen between the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. In 1976, half a century later, it evolved into Black History Month. Every American president, Democrat and Republican, has issued proclamations endorsing the theme. In this series, we will explore Black Americans you may not know that made a difference and that influenced how we live, work, and play in our everyday lives. Hello, my name is Ramona, and it is my honor to introduce the personality that became America's first Black syndicated cartoonist, Morris Knowlton Turner, affectionately known as Maury. Mahatma Gandhi said, in a gentle way, you can shake the world. Born December 11, 1923, in Oakland, California, he received his training in cartooning by taking a home study correspondence course. During World War II, he served as a mechanic with the Tuskegee Airmen. His early illustrations appeared in the Air Force newspaper, The Stars and Stripes. While working for the Oakland Police Department, he created the comic strip, Baker's Helper. Turner noticed that there were no minorities in cartoon and discussed it with his mentor, Charles M. Schultz, of the famed Peanuts cartoon strip. Schultz suggested he create one. So he did. Maury's first attempt was the Dinky Fellas, which featured an all-black cast. It found publication in only one newspaper. In 1965, he integrated the cast and renamed the strip We Pals, dubbed the Rainbow Gang. The strip was originally carried by five newspapers. After the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King in 1968, the comic strip was picked up by more than 100 papers. We Pals belonged to a quieter, less violent universe. Even in the worst of times, Turner labored on, certain that it was the country that needed to come around to his kid's world, not the other way around. Mr. Turner accomplished what many believed to be an impossibility in the 1960s, gently shaking the world. Hi, I'm John Waller with this week's trivia. Before Colonel Sanders, she was the advertising industry's first living trademark. Who is she? Aunt Jemima. The celebration does not end with the Black History Month series. Throughout the year, we will celebrate contributions from all nationalities to American history. We at CSA believe that we are all in this together. The individuals we've highlighted in this series prove that a good idea in the mind of God cannot be stopped.